Hi, good evening. Friday and it's all a once again a happy Friday. Uh, the day went really well and uh, key day today because we had uh, we had the demo presentation uh, that was supposed to happen today. Apparently, our slot was at four o'clock and uh, eventually we gave the demo at four thirty. Uh, we expected that uh, there will be a delay, but um, the funny thing or coincidence as I can say is that just like last year this time also ours was the last demo in that panel and uh, I got to know that only just before lunch when uh, the coordinator told that ours is the last demo and that's what uh, kind of struck me because last year what happened is those jury members was were kind of showing that uh, they are tired and they are done with it they are exhausted that kind of a uh, uh, body language and the response when they were listening to the um, the presentations and stuff like that. I mean we could observe that even before us they did like that but here unlike that the two jury members who were there uh, were very accommodative and the best part of the today's demo was at the end of it they asked a certain uh, technical implementation i told a certain thing and they told it 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 can be better and it can be a really um, interesting solution if i opt for another type which is i mean i tell you they suggested why not use a blockchain instead of what we are doing now uh, initially last year when i gave a similar presentation uh, we were a little bit fumbling with the whole blockchain concept because that was a bit of new to us and we were not sure if we will be able to talk and that's the reason why we had removed that aspect of blockchain this year but uh, this year this person suggested that a blockchain solution would be an ideal here so that's okay at least the person gave a feedback and i'm really happy like if people are um, open and uh, vocal about the feedback right that is exactly what i want what is there to actually go and uh, hide or like just ignore giving feedback last year i think i approached them why didn't they even listen to the full presentation they told that the idea was like too generic uh, anyway so um, the demo went well the results are supposed to be announced on uh, sunday afternoon and the next round of those 25 people whoever gets through uh, is on monday monday during the day so it's more of like a shark tank kind of uh, setup wherein people will have to literally go convince more than i think four or five jury members and it will be far more strict compared to now uh, i don't know i'm frankly i'm not really optimistic about the thing now considering that we got a feedback that uh, they expected something else and uh, and all the stuff i'm not too optimistic i'm i'm not bothered about it but having said that if you remember yesterday i told that if this idea doesn't go through to the next round i have a plans of putting up in the public domain i spoke to my team members they were okay they had a little bit of concern that we need to rather check the ones with our office team to figure out if there is no uh, restrictions or anything that i'll probably i'll do that but yesterday i did a little bit of research and uh, i realized there is one more website like what i had thought of and this website is called idea watch so if you if you open the website uh, apparently two two things stuck as soon as i saw that website first thing is the way they have presented it. it's basically post it kind of thing wherein uh, there is all um, posted grid on the website and it has one line literally like a small phrase or a line or two about the idea and they have categories the way they are done is very well categories and technology everything for diy to most complicated software stuff they have uh, like n number of pages but everything is put like a post it you hover your mouse on top of the post it and um, the pop up that will come it will explain a little bit more in detail about what exactly is that idea about it's more of like a paragraph of what the idea is about uh, there is an option to click it or uh, do a watch or something like that but uh, the uh, the second thing is like the website is apparently undergoing some kind of a migration or something because of which they have literally um, uh, i think closed all the registrations or any user interactions with it so you can just view but you can't do anything but even the click was not possible so it's just that you can see the title of the idea over your mouse and you can see a slightly detailed description and nothing else so probably i might have to wait and see how the implementation is done here and if it is uh, in lines with what i am thinking but here there are ideas of all kind like literally as i told you diy to um, everything type of ideas are there um, mine was more the the 
portal or the solution that I was thinking about was more concentrated towards um, technical side of things so that it benefits uh, college students or some people who want to do their own project to write in their resume or somebody who was very enthusiastic about trying something and all the stuff so it's it's for them so that's so that's the update about um, the idea the demo everything so i might have to wait for a few more days to figure out whether i can um, put that idea outside and whether what happened to our idea whether it progressed further or not uh, 25 and 200 and odd is I'm not an optimistic i, I don't know i'm still uh, it would be shock if it goes through, but I don't. I don't. I don't even expect that shock. So uh, I'm not key, uh, optimistic that it will go through. Anyway, two more things I want to talk about, and both the things is something um, I pumped in Instagram Explore. Okay, when I'm like I need a little bit of distraction is when I actually go through uh, in Instagram Explore and I just keep scrolling, and most of the times it's based on i think our like history or comment history or something related to that it shows and for me it's totally random like i usually like i'm very selective about the type of things that i put like or save or anything but uh, quite often it keeps showing me um, content related to people in film industry especially canada film industry maybe i as i feel that the more you see a certain type of content and explore they will take it as um, uh, kind of an input to show more of that thing so if I see a specific a movie related memes or any photos or anything of a specific movie, I see that more and more of those things come. And once that movie goes, something else comes up, which is similar. The thing is, anyway, back to my point, I saw a couple of videos. The first one was, um, I don't know the exact statement. I'm, I'm just still, uh, I need to go back and search for that exact stuff. I'll probably save that video. It was very interesting. It was an interview of... Um, a very senior actor's son. Um, he's he didn't click much uh, in the film industry, but um, I like the statement that he made. Uh, this was related to friendship, okay. And uh, he just told like uh, friendship is a baggage, and it's better we stay away from it rather than get attached to it. It kind of struck me immediately. Um, something that mentally I've been going through uh, a lot when it comes to this whole friendship concept and friends and close friend and all those things um, I don't know by virtue of the type of person I am and the type of work I do the type of taste and likes and all I have my friend circle was very limited and um, I mean I would say it was probably up to my uh, college days or whatever or maybe a little beyond that is when I had that something called like okay friend circle I, I have to go out with them and meet them on weekends, have to meet them kind of weekends, that type of person. But once I started my um, work life and all those things, things started to fall apart. Like they have their own life, I have their own life. We get busy, weekends are more hectic than weekdays. And the moment you get married, things change a lot. And you have kids, it's, it, it falls apart. So even for class. I've seen, uh, especially in certain communities within our country, like especially on the north inner side of people, uh, the people gel along well, okay, even if they're married and if they have kids also, they have that community and friends, like somehow they stick along really well and uh, they have that, okay, weekends, all the um, friends should meet, all the f family friends should meet and stuff, stuff. But that's not very typical uh, in um, South India, at least from what I know. Again, it depends based on people, mentality, region, and so on and so on. But let me talk about myself. Look, I have been a kind of person like I am like I me myself. I'm I'm not too much of like uh, all this uh, close friends and all the stuff, because at the end of the day, uh, I just started feeling that just like what this guy told in the video, this whole friendship thing and all is kind of a baggage. Okay, I don't want this friendship to be an emotional baggage. I want it to be more of like a transactional baggage. That's exactly my mindset and that's how I've been living since last several years. Okay, it's not yesterday or today or last year. Last several years, I just started slowly living this life wherein I just treat it as transactional and not emotional. Because the more you get emotional, right, the more you get emotionally attached to a person as a friend, be it a guy or a girl, you start expecting more from them. Okay, they start expecting more from you. You don't do it, they start fighting. That again leads to a few other stuff. And then you start expecting like, okay, they will, they'll be the first person to call you on your birthday. They'll be the first person to uh, call you if they're happy or sad. And you also feel that, okay, if I'm sad, 
this is a person i should call call and talk to maybe they they are not very accommodative of that or they might feel that why is this person calling him never this happy or sad or not so in that way it started running in my mind should we really go and approach another person another living being to talk all these things i think i i started slowly drifting away from all these things so i'll be very honest with you i don't have anything like a close friend and best friend and all those stuff i have lot of friends on paper and lot of people whom i felt felt were like my close friends uh, but over a period of time again i said like things started drifting apart because they started becoming busy in their own life and their own work life personal life and all those things and this connect is was lost and eventually that emotional connect was also lost and then i felt that it is actually good it's good for me good for them and good for whoever is going through such phases so it's better that we don't have that any emotional connect it's usually transactional that i say i mean i'm using a lot of terminologies but it should should be transaction you have certain work you better call them if you're not comfortable calling don't call most of the people who treat me as a friend or like who i feel that did uh, the same thing they call me only when they have a work that's all that's as simple as that and that is what i call it as a transaction thing they need some help from me they need some input from me they need whatever they call me only if that like nobody calls because they want to share certain um, moment in their life or they want to talk just because they want to talk and all the stuff okay there are times when they have the same people have like not called for months together and they call you oh, it's been a long time since we spoke like yeah but so what you didn't have anything to speak to me that's why you didn't call there is like it's not like the way they show it in probably movies or um the web series and things like okay friends are like close they're always attached they're like sleeping on the same bed eating this i it looks good on tv it looks good to fake it on a uh, social media you know, best friends and bff and all those stuff but in real life i don't know it doesn't work like that i don't see that happen with many of the other people also sometimes i told you right it's more of like an emotional baggage people think that they are attached but they are actually not attached so this is the whole i mean the person the video that i was telling that guy was actually talking something related to this and it stuck me immediately that the moment i heard that 30 second or 45 second video it actually stuck me immediately i i like to probably go back and search that video i mean i want to listen to it again and again he used a certain phrase which i really like but um, the moment it stuck it kept on running i thought like okay let me talk about it today and all about this friendship and things like that so i don't know there is no summary for this topic but i am just telling you this what is my perception about friendship and how i treat it and how people treat me and i'm i'm perfectly happy being alone being away from all these things i literally have distanced myself from all the people who probably i, I would have called it as my uh, good friends from my uh, wildlife photography journal or photography journal or things like that i felt that maintaining the social distance even before all this social distance thing actually came into picture this year i i sort of created my own social distancing thing from them so that it's good for me it's good for them i don't know if it will really be good for them but at least for me it is good and i'm happy with it so that's one thing i thought i'll talk about the last part is again the second video that i show it it was a very short tiktok video that somebody had uploaded in instagram and the lady told um the moment you die and um, your body comes home right the way the people address is that the body has come they won't say the person has come or the person's body has come they always say the body has come so the way she told i could actually feel it like the moment you die your identity is gone okay it, it sort of it, it you lose your identity at the very moment and it's so true it's just that when you're living people are treating you and talking you and responding to you in a certain way but the moment you die everything gets detached and it it just literally becomes it's it's a body it's not a person a b c or x y z it's just a body think about it thank you so much see you on monday bye bye